This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of effects in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this video tutorial, I'll show you why the order in which you place effects on a clip makes a difference in the results. I'm going to select this clip and apply a border. The border is in the Basics category. Drop the border in and change the border color to green. Right about there. And we'll increase the width to make it really visible. Now I'm going to add another effect. and We'll call this effect also in the Basics category, black and white, and drop that in. But notice that both the border and the image are now black and white. Well, how come? That's because effects in Final Cut have a stacking order. Whichever gets is on top is processed first. We add the border. Then whatever comes second takes the output of the top and processes it. If I grab black and white and drag it on top of border, notice now the border is green because first I remove the color from the picture, then I add the border. Here, I add the border first, then I remove the color, and the border is no longer green. So when you're adding multiple effects to a clip, you need to pay attention to stacking order because the stacking order affects the ultimate results of all your effects. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for webinar 300. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.